Hey Phono friends, Don Wilson here with a, another exciting action-packed episode of As the Record Turns. And uh, this time I'm sitting here with a little pack of um, Burmese color needles. Aren't they interesting? Look like little tiny pencils. Um, so, uh, not too long ago, I found this wonderful little sharpener. Steve Pelicano had it for sale on Facebook, and I always wanted to try one of these, so I picked up the sharpener, and then, you know, the next logical step is one needs needles. Um, like um, having the uh, propensity to fiddle around, um, I also had the idea of what would happen if um, I tried to play a diamond disc with it. So. I have this disc here, which is one of my test discs, Jack of All Trades, which I uh, mangled a little bit of it in the middle. But using a Plumbing 90, um, Benjamin, the Victrola guy on uh, YouTube, he has um, a video about using a Plumbing 90 with um, a Victor reproducer. But you know, I machined this little bit of Teflon and uh, used a plumbing 90 and a piece of radiator hose. Um, but that gets back to the original point of this video. Is, instead of using the diamond or sapphire stylus, uh, what about using one of these Burmese color needles? Hmm. Shall we give it a try? For 19 winters, bigger than a cyber, than a bigger than a spell. And I'd still be in the third reader if the teacher hadn't said, Young fella, you're expelled. Then I built a ferry boat down on the river, but the darn thing sunk the first trip across. When I was a blacksmith, I had lots of trouble putting shoes on a board and fenders on a horse. Jack of all trades, plum disgusted. Jack of all trades, nothing to do. Jack of all trades, hungry and busted. Everything's wrong, no matter what I do. So as you can hear, the volume is a little light, but there's uh, no degradation to the disc. It uh, seems to wear quite well. And uh, these needles are nice because they can be sharpened over and over again. Uh, playing one side of a diamond disc doesn't seem to really have any effect on it. So uh, the volume's a little light, but that's also a soft tone needle. Um, I'm going to do some more comparisons in the future, but uh, Andy is a longtime member of the uh, Talking Machine Forum. That's how I found out about him. So here's his uh, contact info. He's based out of the UK and um, if somebody's looking for Burmese color needles or is interested in experimenting in an inexpensive way to play diamond discs on your Victor talking machine. There you have it. 